All right, crew, here we're doing for the second part of the electrical engineering series. Uh, what we have here today, I'm going to run the experiment. We did the Satan last week. This week we're going to do a Christ-based with the Holy Bible. So I'm a Christian at heart, but sometimes I dance with the devil. And uh, we'll, we'll start with Luke 12, 22. The teaching about anxiety. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life. What ye shall eat neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls. And which of you, with taking that thought, can add to his stature one cubit? And with that blessing, I'm going to say a prayer that this uh, video reaches the right people, and uh, particularly a special young lady that I. Uh, don't really get to see. Um, what we're going to do is uh, show you a little bit about power generation and how to charge a dead iPhone. We've got the iPhones out of power and what seems to be the problem is is this wire has either got wet or short it out, it's not working. We have some other cables here, and we have some heads here. What we're going to try to do is connect these heads and these links to that and go work with some of the tools and batteries and systems that we got to last week this week. So we have <clears throat> a USB charger for the iPhone 5 and 6, possibly 7 series. And the first thing, it consists of four wires. If you're in a disaster scenario, or an emergency scenario and don't have the money to afford another phone charger, you can experiment with this type of electronics by slowly removing the wires. Now you want to be real careful. I don't know if you can see this or not, but these wires can be easily damaged nicked or destroyed and you don't want to blend them together because it, it cause a short see what we're doing is we're peeling back the outer sheath of this wire Looks like we have these four cables. Okay, so here we have these. 
여기 Sometimes it's tricky to snip these with these. But there you go, see, you tear the head off and some of the fiber will, will go with it. So this is what I... All right, so we do like this. Careful not to burn yourself or have a parent or adult supervising. All right, so what it looks like we have here, I don't, I don't really quite know how to understand this. It's this plate. I don't know what kind of type of metal this is with this gold copper, but it comes out of these four wires. There's a red and a white, assuming positive for red, negative for, um, negative you know and uh this these two for data transmission possibly so what we're gonna want to do match them up here All right, there you see. We separated these out. And it burns. They'll burn your send, send your fingers. I've been doing this a while back with, you know, in the younger days. Whoa! The uh car stereos, you know, I'll hook up the wires and shit like that. But here we go.
Okay, so we've got the positive and a, a, a green wire. Now we've got to link these two wires. And uh, what you're going to want to do is get you some electrical tape, some tartan, which I'm, I'm about out. There you got. But you don't use your teeth. Never a good idea. Get a sharp object or have somebody that uh, adult supervisor help you. And a lot of people throw away that last piece. This may be the last piece I've got. And uh oh, it is. So that means no more electric tape. All right. All right. What we got here? Got these. We 
got these. So we have these cables connected. It appears as if they're connected. And uh, we've got a plug. So what we need is uh, a way to uh, can convert uh, that energy, like gas to power, air, liquid, solid. And what we we'll use is this thing called a DC to AC inverter. And basically what this means is it converts direct current or DC into AC or alternating current and it claims that it's a pure sine wave. Now a sine wave travels up and down 2000 watt surge power and uh, here you see positive negative terminals two cooling fans the uh, ingrained body. Two power plugs, digital readout, switch, on off switch, LED display, LCD display, excuse me, and then these LEDs. Alrighty. Well, the first thing you're gonna need is some booty clamps. You can get these right here. They're called booty clamps because they look like little boots. Right here. But make sure you get your copper washer on here. Okay, so right here, the positive terminal is secure, the negative terminal is secure. we're going to do set the battery here with some of the energy we collected yesterday we're going to unscrew these bolts What we're going to do is we're going to put the screw right here through the booty clamp. Put the washer on. Or actually the washer comes on a second. Don't do that. It's already got one on there between that you got your cable your washer your bolt 
On the other side you got your washer and you got your bolt. And you can typically turn it by hand and if you need to tighten it down you can just go ahead and use a ratchet or tool until it's firmly secure. The, ne the next step, which actually I've done this the wrong way, a rule of thumb, you always want to attach your negative cable before your positive. I'm new to this myself. I don't know why, but they say it's best to have an active ground before you run power. So again, removing the nuts. All right. Okay, let's get ready to give it a go. There it turns on. Look at the volts. 12.4 volts. So here's what we gonna do. I'm gonna take that. We're going to plug it in here. Can you see that clear? Oh, my God. 